Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, fun weekly so far with the eggs and the tomatoes. It's interesting, the tomatoes. You know what? I actually don't mind this. Create an early tanky cockroach. It goes to 2-5 next turn anyway, sure. But like, if it helps you get a win in round one, maybe you're, maybe you're pogging up for that. And maybe you just throw a freaking egg on here and say, how's your father? Let me be like, um, how about a misshaped pianist? I, listen, we're 30 seconds into the video. I hope Google DeepMind transcribed me. I would hate to see the video get demonetized because your transcriber had an error. Not that it's a bad word to begin with. The, the thing that I didn't say that it sounds like. Freeze an egg. Roll me. Just pop this bad boy down right there, I suppose. It, like, probably the most sensible thing is to put it on the other cockroach because then it could live if it ends up in an egg v. egg mirror match, but... But it's... Maybe we still lose now that we draw? Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> but I didn't want to have two eggs on cockroaches because we're probably going to combine them at some point. Okay, this is a roll situation. Uh, actually, what do you think about anti-egg technology in the form of the raccoon? It's an interesting way to think about it, isn't it? I'm not going to put an egg on another raccoon. That's a little much. But honestly... No, that's... We'll, we'll level up next time. This makes sense to me. We're probably reaching the point where the eggs are no longer expected to win a 1v1. Oh! What? <laughs> what a scam! What a scam! Anyway, we still won, but like... Okay, it doesn't work the way I thought it worked. Well, you know what? That just means we gotta put our own egg on you. Or we have to be able to live through an egg. Oh! Friend ahead faints game. It's interesting. It is. It, you are a 2-4, huh? Let me let me look at this. This is, I mean, we're way out of the pocket with like the, the order of our levels and stuff, but I think we want to set it up like this. And this is basically just plus three attack with a rabbit on your side. That's probably worth holding here. So we're running like anti, anti egg build. Give me your egg. You don't have any eggs? Well, then what's the point? I ask you. This is not even close. Your stats are destroying me. It's the power of a capybara. More power to you. One of these. One of these. I think going strong raccoon's kind of an interesting... It's an interesting idea. So an 11-6 raccoon. I think it's fair to say you don't have to worry about eggs too much anymore. Hey, I know what you're wondering. When does the rest of our squad get some stats? May I? May I steal your food? You may not steal my food. Okay, we're toast on this one, too. I gotta say, the raccoon is kind of underwhelming when the only held food is an egg, because it seems like they just never get to shoot the egg. I guess it's not a held food if they shoot it. But someday, some unit is gonna have uh, meat. And then we're gonna be going the frick off, okay? I'm rolling. If garlic like worked with any of these units, I'd be pretty stoked. But you know what? It might work with the unit we buy next time, I guess. At this, at this point, you know what they say when you're going through heck, keep going. Go ahead, shoot me with your egg. Now I got your egg, but I didn't even, did I even get to shoot it? <laughs> I didn't even get to shoot the egg? What am I doing with this raccoon, man? Explain it to me. What am I doing with this raccoon? Level. Crocodile kind of pog crazy with it. How about toss me one of these? How about roll me? I know I see the two dolphins there, and I and I've done what I've done. Okay. We don't need that other one out here just yet. I'm still I'm still waiting on this fish to come out. We get a level. We sell the fish for two. We add another unit that completely transform our game single handedly somehow. Okay, fair trade. And then I steal your garlic, and then it doesn't matter in the slightest. But then we come through and we win, and it's been a while. That felt good. It's all coming together. Nice buff. Probably the hippo is the right play, but. I'm buying a squirrel. Couldn't couldn't really tell you why. Because it's interesting. 
Honestly, for now, why don't you take... It was probably a, a banana makes so much more sense than an egg at this point, but alas, here's where we're at. Am I going to steal your chili pepper? Ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme uh, chili after midnight. That blew that team out nicely. The, the raccoon, maybe it's gotten through its awkward phase, and now it's, it's ready to go, dude. I don't really want to move you to the back. I would like if you had a carrot that's just better, and it is cheaper. And a banana, I mean, for two, for a cost of two, it does seem mighty tempting. This I, just doesn't need to be purchased. So let's put you out here. Roll once. We could easily, easily sell a cockroach here. Do not run the lionfish. Before you attack, you will cause the enemy to become weak, and then we'll steal their weakness. Not interested. Sure. Uh, sure. Food's gonna be mighty cheap. I, this build doesn't really feel like it's got legs, though. <laughs> but maybe it knows how to use them. Steal me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Please. I, I haven't asked you for much. Come on! <sighs> okay, we're on lethal. I think you're obviously gone. You can... What happened to my rabbit? It got turned into fried shrimp? <laughs> Is that how that works? One. Two. Three. Generating some alpha there. And then a second squirrel. I know what you're thinking. Hey, NL, your squad is pretty anus. You're not wrong. Let's let it ride. Stealing that garlic kind of sick, though. Replacing it with the... Replacing it with the chili pepper. Not so sick. I'm dead. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. I mean, I don't think the raccoon... It shouldn't have been maybe like the, the thing we built our team around. Let's put it that way. We could afford some permanent stats, some Kaiser Statenente, and then maybe at least, at least you live. It'd be like a bubbly teapot or something. Like tea's ready. You know how teapots are all like. The ladybug can live through an egg. That's the important thing here. I'm very happy with my draw. This team's not really designed to pop yet. It hasn't even begun to peak. That's not where that was supposed to go, but that's life in the in this in this crazy world we live in. It's pretty much the worst series of events that could have happened. And we're going to put the egg on you so you have the ability okay, this you are pretty good fucker. Pretty pretty good. Uh, this is horrendous. It's terrible news. <laughs> Never mind, we draw. Okay, okay, okay. Give me my level and let's start building the run here. I said give me my level. Okay. I think lizards, really, it's pretty good in a world of eggs. But you need them to be running the egg in position too because the lizard... You know what you could do? We're getting a little into the empty the cup style theory crafting. What if you had a panda buff a lizard so that you could have the lizard at the front, thus being hit by an egg, but you would still spawn a lizard's tail because you would have a four-piece instead of a five-piece. Otherwise, I, either way, I would say you throw the dromedary out here. And I think you could definitely throw a second dromedary pip. And uh, then you should honestly just have a dromedary take some meat. Because I think that at this point, we get two of them this early, they're probably going to stick around. Probably not a team you win with, but to draw with them would be, uh, would be pleasant. Would be nice. I'd say we got pretty lucky with the way that that worked out. We really couldn't have asked for more, uh, more arithmetic help than we just got. I would say, I mean, some one of you's got to, or you got to go. But I think you go first. You come out. I'm gonna run in a dude. Do you want? Do you wanna? Should we? Should we try to run the strat that I just suggested? Because so many people are running an egg position one. I mean, we could buy fried shrimp to get one extra attack. That doesn't seem like the sauce to me, quite frankly. I think the sauce to me is this, into this, into this. Now, the, we don't get a whole lot out of this panda yet. But the idea is that lizard at the front, I'm saying it gives us like a 75% chance of getting a guaranteed tail off of an egg. I'm the world's 
smartest man accidentally. Now, did it actually have any impact? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> but we, we did lose, but I feel like maybe there's some interesting... There's some legs to this strategy. Holy bursh. Definitely like that. I think Worm could get interesting, but it's not... The, it's not... I mean, we have a little bit more, like, meme potential. You need garlic. As, as tempting as, like, cucumber is, you need garlic. What do you think about... Possibly not. We have, we have so much trash on our team that you could definitely try to throw, like, a meerkat out there. Just see how it works. Okay, I'm not gonna call myself a genius or anything ridiculous like that yet, but, uh... I gotta tell ya! I, and, and it was against Empty the Cup, no less! Little bro thinks he's on the team. Okay, you should go. I'm little bro, by the way. Now, I don't know, I'm really just trying to see what it is about you. For now, why don't you take this? Just to, you, you might as well get some HP out of it. We don't want to worm anyway. Could have waited a turn for a level up, it's true. I must have spent enough gold to get some triggers off of this meerkat here. Well, the order of things. It still looked pretty cool, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, 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 this is bad. This is no good at all. Okay, baboon. Should really give the baboon some more credit. Or an orangutan. Not interested in any of these. Kind of interested in a can, I suppose. Really, more than anything else, you need garlic. I'm, I'm thankful we got one turn of cucumber out of you. Self dromedary buff, more lizards. Another. I don't think we need to go level three dromedary pippin. What are we looking for on our level? I don't know. It'd be nice if we could just turn the level, the tier five animal into chocolate instead. But you gotta love it. You gotta love the math. You abs under all circumstances. You have to love the math. Oh, the turkey. <laughs> Turkey parrot with a worm just simmering back there. I'm not making it past him in a later round. We're in a, there's a lot of trouble. Roll me. Regrettable. Okay, for some reason I'm buying a, an avocado. You know what the reason is? The reason is that I hope we get a bunch of chocolate next turn so that the panda can actually pop off. If the panda pops off... No, oh, my weakness! That's horrendous! If the panda pops off, that means the lizard can pop off. And that means I can hog off. Vulture is an interesting idea. I'm rolling, though. I'm, there's some very specific things I'm looking for. You obviously don't have to be here. What do you think about... I should have thought of this earlier. What do you think about a turkey being out here? And let's not put it in a snipeable position. Really want to see some chocolate. Thank you so much. Now, the panda has, like, none stats. Well, well, well. I mean, this is really, like, the last ride. But let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Or maybe our team's good enough to not have to get lucky. Maybe it's good enough to at least, like, it, it can accomplish something. Okay, doorhead ants. That's fine. We're creating our own our own lad here. Great work. You love, dude. Okay, when, when it works, it looks incredible. Maybe the, lean on the turkey a little bit more. Admittedly, that is win number three, so like we got a long way to go. Why don't you take some of that? I, I think if you got a long way to go, it's a tough sell to, um, to think that a carrot is going to make the difference, but you got to buy something. I, I hate to do this. I think maybe losing the bird, adding an orangutan, it immediately gets a stat buff, and then it at least buffs the turkey a little bit. Turkey can survive a level one crocodile if we move it back. Holy cow, they ran a swordfish. Cosmite, I mean, what, what can you even say about that? You gotta give them credit where credit is due. <laughs> swordfish blew out my lizard, thus making my panda kill itself for no reason. Well, you know, again, credit to you. I'm, I'm happy with what we're doing though. Like we're experimenting and sure, maybe it's not, uh, obviously I was hoping to get an egg, but maybe we're not uh, getting 10 pieces, but we're, we're having a good time. Be like a backwards pearl. Doesn't really make any sense. Not, not every one gives you the opportunity for the double entendre. 
I'm stunned we won round one with a two squad with Honey, but here we are. Throw a buff out here. I would honestly say like Bluebird Egg is okay, and then run uh, Egg Protection in position one. Wow! <laughs> I would, why not? We're gonna have full HP no matter what. We get three of a kind on a shop. You gotta give it a chance, man. Okay, so we egg protection, position one. Then anti-egg. Excuse me, I didn't even get to fire my egg. Where's the fairness there? I would like to call a, an inquest into this. Level, level. Rabid, sure. I mean, it's, it's early enough. I think we could do something here. Anti-egg. Definitely seems like buying foods on your ladybug is probably the way to go right now. Unless you want to just buy foods for your bird. We can't use any held foods on our bird. Is that big of a deal? Is that that big of a deal? Don't you know and haven't you heard? Haven't you heard that the bird is the word? I don't know. They do say that. The thing is, you're going to be sticking around. The thing is, you have some HP, but you could get some HP, just like this, and then like this is three attack, this is three attack, also buffs both of our ladybugs, this is a valid point. Seeing a lot of doorhead ant this week. I like the doorhead ant as well, I just feel like, well, you know what, I should probably buy one the, the next time I see one, and then, uh, what, very well played. That hurt. <laughs> and then uh, buff it. And then when, pardon me, when the yak shows up, then we can consider that we got some value out of it. I would honestly sell, combine, buy, buy, and, and not level here. And I know that seems absurd. I know it seems, it seems positively insane. And you might be right. I may be crazy. What about some garlic on our bird? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm lost in the woods here. One thing's for sure. We cannot win this game uh, when our best unit trades. It needs to at least two for one, which means it probably needs to not be in position one. Or maybe with garlic, maybe it gets there now. I'm gonna give it a chance. But I am also gonna keep buffing it like this and we'll, we'll level next time. One c random friend from the current shop tier, which would be tier four starting next round. Plus one, plus two. We'll see, we'll see. I think we might be in trouble. You stole my garlic! I'm okay. Never mind. I don't need to be so upset. All right. Finally. We've won now. We may never lose again. Not that sold on a parrot. Definitely sold. Wait, let's take our level first. A turkey. Considering that we're probably likely to do some pivots, I think you could do worse than just throwing a turkey out here. Selling. It takes you down to eight. Buying another giraffe. Getting a nice statistical bonus. Reworking the order of the squad thusly. I think we gotta embrace the tempura shrimp. It's still a nice buff. A deer could go crazy on this squad. Okay, the, the bluebird buffs have been highly offensive. But deer plus turkey... And then, like, the food scaling, I don't really know. I, I see you there. You think I don't see you running uh, this orangutan? I'm, I'm losing to a lot of orangutan squads. Maybe they just need a little momentum to get going. Well, <laughs> would you look at that? Our own orangutan. But well, we want to fit a deer onto the team, which would mean that we're not running a rabbit or a turkey or a giraffe. Buff the lowest health pet gets plus 4 HP. would buff our deer. Just thinking. You're genuinely just giving one one per turn. 
Like, we can do a lot better than that. You have four health. I would like you to buff the deer, I think. So I'm going to keep giving you the support here. Then if we get more orangutans, well, well, well. And actually, there's going to be some turkey buffs here, too. Run a little double orangutan. And, and what's the strat? What's a strat? <laughs> I'm just playing the game. You want to talk about strategies or something? I don't, I don't get it. My turkey! Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, I would say the pivot didn't really do what I wanted it to do immediately, but that's okay. How could we expect teams to just run a crocodile? Like, only one in, uh, I don't know, two teams is running crocodiles right now. It seems like a little presumptuous. We'd rather stack you, I think. We we're really looking for another orangutan. I don't really care what you get. If, if anything, I guess maybe we'd rather hit you with one of these and maybe a banana at the back to prevent those situations from coming to pass where a, a, something that could have been a draw is a loss instead. All we needed was one weak unit. Okay, now we're up against Empty the Cup, and I'm scared because we're playing their game. Yeah, this is really bad. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so now we're on lethal. And the, the scariest thing of all is that I feel like we've learned nothing. That's the most frightening part of this whole thing. Now, that's very good. You repeating your ability would be nice, but... We would need to run four squatted in order to get two buses. So I just don't see it as... But then again... <laughs> what do you think? It's probably not the right play. I, I did think about it. Now, you are a, a, a faint pet, but I don't think it's worth paying three gold to give you two one. I'd rather spend one gold on absolutely nothing. Um... I'm going to buff you, you, you. I'm going to buff you. And I'm going to hope that we live long enough to get this orangutan level. But obviously, I'm, well, I'm not necessarily assuming that it's likely. But according to Empty the Cup's performances, if you can just get your orangutan build to, to turn 7, anything can happen. We're already on turn 10, you say? Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Hey, we lived, though. How about level me? Right? That makes sense. Um, we don't want to buy another orangutan. Because then we'll be buffing that other orangutan. But that's okay. Maybe that's okay. Or do I just want to stack you up on top? No, because then I'm going to be buffing whatever other unit comes out. Yeah, I think I'd rather have a crocodile. It's a bit of a miracle play, but... I do think that the eight damage is, is very valuable. And then I'm like, dude, we should just learn from the people that beat us. Oh, so lucky. <laughs> like, we might still lose, but if we're very lucky we bought the crocodile. Let's put it that way. Either way, what was I saying? We won. OMG, he does. We should just learn from the teams that beat us when our run is good and just start throwing uh, tomatoes on everybody. We got to see them first, though. Not totally sure about popcorn, but... You know, we do have a, a, a level one turkey on the squad, so sure. Soon to be potentially a level two turkey. Also soon to be receiving a buff from our orangutan. Pretty hard to kill this turkey. You need a few tomatoes to get the job done. Mm, that rooster is really strong, though. <laughs> Maybe it's not that strong. Okay, I'm, and that, that's a noted gamer. We're up to six wins. Not a perfect round, but maybe respectable. I would honestly freeze this chocolate, see if you get a level. We do! OMG, he does! So lucky! Okay. I still don't think the team is that good. But we, we put together a certain something here. Certainly interesting. 
All we need to do now is put a tomato on everybody and, and we're off to the races. Holy cow, that's a strong, that's a strong boar. We got, we got through! We got through! Okay, seven wins. Nobody in history believed in us and here we are. First tomato is on the squad. Honestly, I mean, I would probably just throw out another one of those, another popcorn, but I do think there's, there's some garlic value here for sure. Or not garlic, what was it? I forgot what I was, I'm, like, I'm lost in the sauce right now. Okay, this is what we need. Tomato him, tomato him, okay. This is, it, I say this without a hint of like irony. I think this might be one of the luckiest runs we've ever had in terms of buying like exactly the right equipment at exactly the right moment. If we don't blow up that turkey, we probably lose. I'm too lazy to run the numbers, but that's, it's what I believe. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the leveled up turkey instead of the leveled up crocodile that was right in front of us. I'm sure it's gonna ruffle some people the wrong way. But here we are, okay? I'm, I'm really only looking for tomatoes. I would, I would replace garlic with tomato because our bluebird tends to die in one hit anyway and the backline unit seems to be pretty relevant for a lot of these teams. What did I tell you? So that's gonna make it so their deer doesn't get to go again. And my turkey lived. I told you, I'm accidentally a genius. Are you seeing this? That's crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you though. I'm not, okay, I'm gonna take the tomato just in case. Cause maybe you could kill their fourth unit and then we'll get the turkey leveled up. And then we, we still want the crocodile to level up. Don't get me wrong. Well, I can't believe we're on nine. I, this is crazy. We made a resilient backline unit. We take shots at their backline unit. Okay, they do have a 50 HP, uh, enormous level three hippo. That seems like the kind of thing that could like ruin your day. <laughs> we didn't punch through him fast enough. Yeah, it's over. Fair enough. Big hippo just goes crazy. I'm not, I'm not upset with the hippo going crazy. It's a well-constructed team. You gotta give credit where credit is due. And either way, I had a great time getting the nine with a squad that it's a little bit out of the pocket for us. So we went hard on the orangutan. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. That was a great deal. Of course, subscribe. I'll see you next time. See ya!